Hello, Philon Rusk here. This is uh, vlog three. I thought we'd start off just by showing you this wonderful transition from one month into the other as we have a bit of a snooze. Fantastic. Right, so we are now into September. Let's get out and go and do some work. I think what we'll start off with is just a little bit of a drive around and then we'll go into a montage of the daily work that we well the monthly work that we've undertaken or busy doing and then I will um, do a couple of deliveries to well we'll go and pick up some goods that have been produced uh, as you can see in the background there's some flour put some of it into the bakery and we'll take some up for export back to earth and I think we've got some oil that needs to go back to earth as well so we'll get that sorted out but to start off with let's just have a look and see where we are in this rather red early September morning so the first thing we need to do is we need to lime the fields that we ploughed yesterday or last month should I say and I think we're going to do this John Deere dry box which goes onto the back of our um, I suppose you call it the spraying machine <laughs> so basically it's our fertilizer and her her herbicide John Deere so this is quite a nice little attachment that um, goes together with the fertilizer attachment and the herbicide attachment well, the fertilizer and herbicide attachments are the same attachment, but uh, um, I just separate them out so we don't get them mixed up. Well, it's a little bit sensitive to find the actual trigger point. It probably would help if I could drive straight <laughs> or reverse straight. Oh, come on. Yeah, so we had a pretty productive first month of the mission got this one to go and I'm not sure how uh, how many months we'll be out here but um, yeah enjoying it so far getting things going right let's go back to our little central area and we're going to put up a lime station I think we'll just put it at the back here sort of more or less where all our other product is should do fine it's probably going to need quite a bit of lime so we'll be up and downing and to and froing picking up lime I think it does about it holds about 19,000 liters and that's probably going to be utilized oh I suppose on some of the smaller fields it probably just make it but some of the bigger fields will have to replenish before we actually complete the fields we will get workers onto them and then just keep flitting between all the jobs that need to be done let's get this started so there's fields to be ploughed I think there is sorghum to be harvested I'll go through another mon montage just getting showing you us doing all those little daily jobs before we get on to the interesting stuff of getting some product back down to to earth so I think we'll get this first field done oh, careful it's pretty unstable when it's full tips over quite easily doesn't have the sort of uh, balancing effect of the spray arms should have put uh, wider tires on I suppose for the liming job right so this is one of the sorghum fields so we're just going to flip between the jobs that we're doing the um, I 
this is the second one, yes. This is uh, harvested too. So the arable jobs, we will just show you bits and pieces of it just to let you know what you're doing. So this is, I think there's five sorghum fields that need to be harvested. Sorry to disturb you, uh, Mr. Marsh, and you're just caught him on the, on the left hand side there. We get a work onto this one as well. Off they go. They work at a fairly good pace. And I think we've still got some fields to plough up. And we certainly want to start getting some more crops that produce straw planted so we'll probably stick with wheat and barley and that type of thing grow nice and quickly well this will take a season to grow but um, produce good good amounts of uh, of, of straw to go into the into the power factory, the power station if you want to call it, well power station is probably the correct word rather than power factory. <laughs> there we go, just completed that off quickly. We did have to refill and for some reason my workers seem to leave a little bit of a, a gap around the edge of the field. So. Not sure what that's about, but getting the liming done. This is our fantastic new multi-purpose uh, planting machine. So it does just about all the crops. It's a planter and seeder. Fantastic, we'll get that going. So that's all going, putting in wheat there. 50% fertilized, so we will have to go around and fertilize. Of course we can't use precision farming up here on uh, on Mars because of the different seasons. Still, still working on our sorghum, that's all going nice and fast. Right, so that's pretty much just a, a bit of a smorgasbord as such of the daily jobs. They all busy being done. So I think the time to go and reap the fruits of our labors from last month so we got heaps and heaps of uh, a flower that's been produced so we'll put a load about 16 pallets into the bread factory then we'll get the bread production going and then we'll go and also get the overdrive on the on the on the bakery going. So we'll go and pick up some electricity. We'll go and uh, I'm not quite sure how to say it. Pick up electricity. It should be should be sent in. But that is also stay tuned for that. It's a bit of a Looney Tunes moment. Me delivering um, the electricity with uh, a trailer that I really, really just cannot master. But you'll see. Get ready for a good chuckle. Coming up soon. Also, there's a fantastic end to this this vlog. So stay tuned right to the end and it is pretty dramatic the end sequence at least I think it is you may not once you get there <laughs> but it's worth a watch let's get this in here yeah I'm, I'm okay traversing this this trailer it's the next one Right, so let's head, head head on down to the to the power station and go and organize some electricity. Do we put it in here? 
Let's get this going first. There we go. Bread. So that's just normal production. And then there's also overdrive production once we've connected up, um, or once we've uh, supplied power to the to the factory. And it puts it into overdrive, and we get some decent production, or some decent production levels, should I say, going. So this is the trailer that I just can't. I can't get on with it, but you'll see. Looney Tunes at its best. The loading up is not too much of a problem, so we'll just head on to the power station, which is in the background. So you see those three lights on the sort of kind of center of the picture, right in the background. But that's where we're heading for. I do have a solution, which will probably come up in the next vlog for transporting electricity and uh, we'll have a specialized vehicle constructed for that. The other thing is I think I'm probably going to have to, well, I think I want to put in another power station. I think I might just be able to get room to squeeze in one here uh, just before the radio antenna there. Right, let's just go and see how much we've got produced since we got the production going in the last episode or was it the episode before? The, uh, I think it was in the last episode we got the electricity sorted out. So there's, yeah, there's a bit there. Carbon monoxide starting to store up, but we've got plenty of storage in there. We'll, we'll do a whole, uh, well, it won't be a whole um, vlog on it, but we'll definitely get a vlog going on that once we've got enough collected, well, enough stored up that needs to be sorted. It's one of those jobs that have to be done, but... Uh, yeah, so there we go, 5,600 litres, I'm not quite sure that you actually measure, well in fact I know you don't measure <laughs> electric charge in, in litres, megawatts, I think is what we will be calling that, right, so let's get this up to the bakery. the whole thing onto a, a fast time lapse. Once we get up there. We do we do eventually get the electricity in, so <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> but yeah. This trailer is going to have to go. As I say, we are busy developing a new vehicle specifically for transporting the electric charge and that will be unveiled most probably in the next block. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man. Uh, I turned the air blue with foul language. We did get a bit in there. Well, we, we filled it up 2,000 litres into there. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Uh, luckily there was nobody around to even try to... <laughs> uh, oh dear. Uh, I'm surprised that it, surprised I didn't actually flip the tractor. <laughs> uh, we got it in. Much easier to deliver here. Huh? In the in the next vlog, we will sort out the production of uh, uh, depleted Martian stone, and we'll get that going. Get some of that delivered into into the um, 
into the electronics factory I think it'll go to. It'll be a while before we get the electronics factory fully operational. Right, we're just going to drop off the headers here. I should have just put that on the top one. Why did I do that? Because then I'll just have to lower the bottom one again. Talking too much and not concentrating on the job. Concentrating too much on the vlog as such. Yeah, as this is all going on, of course, we are still doing all the other bits and pieces. Well, bits and pieces, all the arable stuff that I showed you in the little montage to start with. That's all still ongoing. And it will always be ongoing, so we'll just show you bits and pieces of that as we go through these vlogs. We'll um, concentrate these vlogs on the, um, on the things that are different on this map. So the different productions as such. So how much have we got in there? Uh, 45,000 litres. Get some uh, sorghum flour going. It all floats really, really quickly, this, this machine. These specialised machines that we have done uh, are just too expensive to run on on, uh, on Earth. Um, but over here, with all the different... Um, um, well, I mean with the expense of getting machinery up here we have to have stuff that works to what we would call unrealistically on earth but then of course working on Mars is unrealistic well it was when we started when we started the project project of course me being Elon Rusk did not think it was unrealistic. I poured a lot, a lot, a lot of money into into getting to where we are now. So we're st starting to look for returns. As I said, there's the Mars Consortium, which is just about up and running. And I think uh, even in the next vlog, but certainly by the vlog after that, we will be selling off our first pieces of. Martian land. We're trying to get through all the legalities of whether we can actually sell that onto private enterprise. Um, I mean, my enterprise is private, but uh, we've been uh, commissioned as such by the governments of Earth to get it going. And even though we have been commissioned, we have used private funding to to get to where we are. So I think that um, it would be highly unlikely that we wouldn't be allowed to make some sort of profit out of this whole operation. Even if it is for the benefit of mankind in the long run. A philosophical question you want to wade in with a with a thought on that that's what the comments are for below I nearly forgot to unload this one this one is into the 50,000 so it's probably about 100,000 litres of sorghum we're getting up there quite happy with that Because of the sorghum, we didn't get any any straw, so it's a product that we're probably not going to be doing a lot of. Do you want to get some grass fields planted as well? Somewhere along the line. Right, let's get these parked up and stored away, washed up. I think we're about ready to start taking some product up to 
the Mars rocket so that we can export it to to Earth. So I think the first lot, the flower, will get a a trailer load up and going, and we will um, drive it up and do it via road. The first delivery, then we will do a delivery also via the train. So those are the two ways to get our product up to the to the Mars rocket. We did show you the the Mars rocket in the last episode, or the last vlog, should I say? Oh, one short, but yeah, 15 is enough to go. We do have to be mindful of the weight that goes onto the rocket. You'll see as we get up to the delivery point that there is a weighing station. Right, off we go. Let's get our bearings going and uh, Hopefully this uh, JCB will be able to pull this load up the up the hill. I think we need to go the other way. Yeah. Just got a radio and another one of the jobs has been completed. Let's get some more workers onto those. Probably one of the seeding jobs that we're doing. Well, we've got seeding and liming going on. We finished the harvesting already, so so then we just follow this this road all the way around, and it'll bring us out. At, um, it'll bring us out into the to the ramp up to the second tier. Just see it in the background there now. We need to get that field ploughed up as well. Get the old big plot and get that going as well. Right, here we go. So the JCB is fast, but it's it's not as big a horsepower as some of the other tractors. So I'm just hoping it gets up at a reasonable pace. If it can maintain 10 miles, a, if it can maintain 10 or 11 miles an hour going up this. This hill, I'm quite happy with that. Quite happy with that. Come on. Yeah. It's a fine little steep section just as we get to the top. That's going to be the litmus test, as they say. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So I have been keeping an eye on um, the messages coming out from Superfly and there are a couple of little tweaks and corrections that need to be made to the map that was released. Um, the final thing that I heard is that there will need to be a new saved game. So, just bear that in mind when you are starting to play. I am actually, st actually still playing on the demo version that I was sent by Superfly and Farmer Bob. Um, there will be come a time after that where I'll have to convert everything over. Not quite sure how we'll do it yet, but um, I'll work that out. In the meantime, I'm still working, as I said, on the de demo version, so there are still little things that have already been corrected. And there are still things... They're, they're only sort of minor little things. I think there's 
one thing to do with a train that is a little bit more that requires the I'm not sure if that's what requires the well results in the requirement for a new save but um, yeah so it's like anything else where things are done so so much different so different that there's little things that need to be tweaked and that's that's to be expected not to the, the map is not unplayable as you can see right so that's the first lot delivered while well, I was just delivering that bit of news so that's uh, been loaded onto the Mars rocket as we speak so there was still a little bit of flour which we'll put back into the there's a couple of pallets of flour still left over which we'll put into the bakery and then we'll pop on over to the to the oil factory and we'll pick up uh, the oil that has been produced and we'll take that over to the train and we'll get that delivered to the Mars rocket by the train and these are just some of the really cool features on this map really really cool it's it's different I know there are some people who are not going to like it because it's certainly not a purist's map but it's fun and it's great to play and it, um, it's great just to, to run alongside your normal more realistic type farming operations just for a bit of a break something different run them together fantastic what's that there? 6 there? 5? 7? <laughs> we get there eventually we'll all throw those into the bakery Just around the corner here, I think. Oh, there's a pellet of bread. We'll send that on down to Earth. Should keep us going for a while. There should be. So, what did we put in? 16. That's another seven. So yeah, there's plenty of flour in there. And we've got plenty of flour being produced again now as well. So we'll have to wait for the rocket to come back from Earth once we send it off. Oh, there we go. I've just let out the secret. So there will be a rocket launch at the end of this this episode so stay tuned stay tuned let's get this picked up how many pellets are there? there's four pellets there yeah maybe we should have put <laughs> the flower on the train it's gonna four pellets of uh, of canola oil I think it was canola yeah and uh, a pellet of bread uh, going down to earth and we're going to commission a whole train for that <laughs> but it's more about getting it working and making sure that it delivers on time and efficiently so we'll head off down to the train station always have to think about I don't know whether it's um, just because we're on Mars but I kind of seem to lose direction 
north, south, east, west, uh, and, 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 and where all the different productions are. I just seem to get a little bit, um, a little bit disorientated every, <laughs> every now and again, which is quite amazing. I tend to use the, uh, the, um, the big central crane as a reference point if I feel like I'm. I feel like I don't know where I am. <laughs> Oh dear, all these little things. Yeah, we've got to start planting some trees as well. That's another thing we need to do. We, I think uh, on that top tier we can, there's a lot of space there for planting trees. Um, we can also um, use wood chips for fuel uh, so I'm not quite sure whether we'll do that I've got uh, we have got equipment up here to do that so yeah we'll see I think the train station is just around the corner here now just coming from this direction to drive into the hydraulic lift to get the vehicles up to the platform So here we go. Should be able to just drive onto the platform and uh, here we go. Let's get this activated. Get up to the top floor. Here we go. Activate the truck lift. Should be in the vehicle. Better get in quickly before we fall over the side. They say as you drive in there, you should remain in your vehicle. I found on this version, it's probably different on the the actual map that was released. I had to get out of the out of the tractor to activate it. How cool is it that the sides just lift up so you can drive off? So we did summon the train just before we got onto the onto the lift, the hydraulic lift elevator, whichever way you want to call it. So we've got nice storage racks here where you can store your pallets until you want it until you get a full train load, which is what we should do. But we'll get this. We'll get this loaded just so that we can show you how it works. Right, let's get this off the back of the trailer and then we'll jump into the train, get that pulled forward, bring the train into the platform, get the right sort of carriage for us to load. Yeah, we do have to tab through to get into the train in this version of the map that I'm playing on at the moment. I don't know if that's still the same on the on the release version. But this train is so cool. Just look at that. Isn't it fantastic? Hey. <laughs> Space age to say the least. Here we go. Uh, it's the trailer uh, the the wagon that we want. to get into the to the right spot right we'll just use a bit of uh, muscle power to pick these up got a bit of help and two of us can pick up these pellets quite easily we will get a uh, 
forklift up here to do it in the future because we've only got five to load but if we've got heaps of pallets to load we just won't have the energy to be able to do to, to, to do it all manually as we're doing now push them along and slide them along and manhandle them onto the onto the trailer onto the wagon don't want to be around that barrier when it moves automatically <laughs> well don't want to be too close so first Mars bread going down to earth I suppose it really shouldn't be sent on there. Down to earth it would be pretty stale by the time it gets there. <laughs> so what we'll say is that that is... That is a test. It's actually bred for the, for the crew. There we go. That makes sense. We've got a pallet of bread on board for the crew to eat on the web way down to earth while they're delivering flour and oil canola oil fabulous get those all strapped in Come on, get the straps going, yeah. Basic stuff. Right. And we should belt it. Get straight into the train here because we're pretty close. Yep, no problem at all. And we've only got a short distance to go into the into the tunnel up to the Mars rocket. Just drive it nice and slowly so you can get a good look at it. This just works as any other train on any other map. There we go, and that's that all delivered. And we'll head on back up and pick up our tractor. Then we'll head on back down to Mission Control. Tell him that the That the rocket is loaded and uh, it can depart when it's ready. I don't know why I unhooked the trailer, but I did. Quick job to fix that up though. Yeah, so that's the operation of the train, doing quite well, working quite well. I think we just hit straight on over here. You can see our marker, which is that blue. Pylon for the overhead crane. But we need to take you up to the top of the overhead crane sometime. 
there's a lift in the center of the overhead crane that you can utilize to go up to a viewing, a viewing platform oh, I shouldn't be driving across the edge of the field didn't do the trail any good just catch the on the left hand side there you just caught the the liming machine looks like it's empty so the workers will have to go and get that sorted out mission control just around the corner here Then we can get our first product sent to Earth. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Just hang in there, it's not long before the dramatic launch takes place. Just radioed in that we're ready to go and they telling us that it's gonna go any second now. So keep your countdown is started. Keep your eye on the rocket. Nine, Here eight, we go, it's starting to seven, lift. Six, five, four, three, Booster two, rocket should come on. There nine. we go. Our first product on its way. And our mission not accomplished but it's just about done was well, not just about done it's just started but it's on its way well that's where we're going to end this episode on that dramatic note thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed it please like and subscribe we'll continue with our daily tasks and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio